What's going on everyone, Brad here, and in this video, I'm gonna be forging a forest axe. I'll be forging this out of a piece of 1045 round stock. Let's get started. I'm gonna be using 1045. This is actually a piece of round stock that I uh, squared up a little bit. I actually just started uh, punching this already before I decided to film the video, but uh, I should be able to catch you guys up. This is the stock that I start with. This is 1045 round stock. Um, it's pretty heavy stuff. You can see I've already started to punch this. I do this with a hydraulic press. Actually, just started doing this with a hydraulic press before I did it by hand. I made a, a new die set, actually. All right, so these are the flat dies that I use. Um, first thing I do is I, I take that round stock, I heat it up, and I square it out a little bit. That way, when I punch the holes, I don't have to worry about it rolling. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these flat dies out because I'm done with them. And now I've got my cage. So you can see this is a, just a flat surface. I made this out of a piece of leaf spring and just some scrap steel. But this slides in just like that. And here's my other die. Uh, actually, it's still pretty hot from the last session. I've got these two dies that are going to work together to uh, punch the initial hole in uh, what would either be an axe or a hammer or whatever I decide to put in here. So it's going to go ahead, it's going to punch that steel that's in there and then uh, this pin is pretty hard to, uh, to get out. It'll actually get stuck in the workpiece. So that's why I went ahead and put uh, this cage here on top because that's gonna help strip the pin back from the workpiece. So I've got this piece of steel heating up in the forge right now. We'll get this up to heat and I'll go ahead and uh, punch these first holes and show you how it works. the first side punched and uh, it went just about maybe three quarters of the way through the head. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around and punch straight through on the other side. I marked these lightly with a punch. Um, I just measured to make sure that I'm going into the same spot on both sides. So now we've come in from the other side, so now we've got two holes and a little plug in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap that a third time just to get that plug out. It's hard to see, but there's a small plug in the hole here. Um, I'm kind of pushing it back and forth, sitting close to this side, so I'm gonna take it over to the anvil and just knock that out with a small punch. I'm just gonna drift it through the hole here on the anvil. There we go. Now we got our first hole punched. Alright, so now that it's time to start actually drifting this off of the press, I'm going to be using this, uh, I guess, striking anvil. This is just a, a real thick like foundation washer plate, I'm not exactly sure. And this is just a drift that I made out of uh, mild steel.
coming along great. Um, I'm really digging this profile. Um, I was going for a heavier axe at the start and I ended up losing some material, but um, it's still a pretty good size. It's sitting at about two and a half to three pound range and uh, it's looking pretty good. I have a little bit of material to remove in the front, so I've only started the bevel and uh, I've got a little bit of meat on the pole here and it looks pretty good. What I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna put my maker's mark on the front of here and uh, I've been meaning to do a video on this for a while. Um, I met a guy named Tim um, at the Blade Show in Georgia in June. He had a booth right across from me and his company is called Steel Stamps Incorporated and he hooked me up with this awesome stamp. It's got my maker's mark on here and uh, I've had a stamp that I've been using for a long time and uh, it's a smaller one that's got my maker's mark for my company, uh, Timberly Tool and Trade, for those of you who uh, are familiar. I don't know if that'll focus for you, but this is a smaller stamp that I use for my knives and I've just been lacking something larger to use on axes and uh, this is that stamp. So I haven't had the chance to use it yet, but here we go. Really excited to use this. I just welded a little stick on here. Um, at first I thought I'd use it in my press, but uh, I think I'm actually just gonna go ahead and hit this on the back. So I got a piece of scrap steel in the forge. I'm gonna give this a shot, see how it turns out, then we'll put it on the ax. All right, here we go. Just a piece of scrap steel here to test this out. Uh, a little bit shallower than I was hoping. Let me see if I can get a better hit. Yeah, that one looks pretty good there, actually. I'll let you guys take a closer look at that. The first time I was a little bit light on the hammer, then I went a little harder, and uh, that's a real nice, nice impression there. That's something that'll last a long time. Well, that worked great, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the ax. I'm gonna be going right over the face here, and to keep this eye from closing, I'm just gonna put the drift in when I do it. normalize this real quick um, kind of the same process I take with my knives I don't have as a, as much experience with axes but I kind of go through the same process this is gonna help to equalize the grain structure just uh, prevent cracks and all that kind of stuff Well, the axe is nice and hard, and the file is skating right off of it. So what I'm gonna do next is get this tempered, and then I'll move on to the final grind, getting it nice and sharp, and I will clean out the eye, and then uh, that's about it. All right, so I've gotten the axe all quenched and tempered, and it is looking real good. Right now, what I'm gonna focus on is getting this edge nice and sharp and polished. I'm also gonna polish the pole. I think it'll be a nice touch, and uh, that's gonna be about it with this ax. I wanna leave a nice, strong forge finish. I really like this look. I think it's gonna make a good ax.
there we have it, Ham Forged Forest Axe. I'm loving the way this came out. I actually made this for a friend of mine and I'm looking forward to hearing what he has to say. I was shooting for about three pounds with this and I ended up at two and a half. So I did lose a little bit of steel in the process, but it's gonna be a very functional tool nonetheless. I don't have nearly the amount of experience forging axes that I do forging knives. So if you have any tips or tricks for me, please leave them in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you have to say. Thank you all so much for watching. I had a great time forging this axe. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm putting out new content all the time. I'll see you in the next one.